channel so today I did my contour highlight and my whole foundation routine this is something I've been doing pretty much since fall and all of winter and I know today is the first day of spring so happy spring to you guys so uh, my first um, uh, foundation routine video that I did it was a voiceover so I didn't really go into any detail but with this tutorial I did I showed you from everything from start to finish what I do to um, this face so uh, if you would like to see this tutorial uh, just keep watching and I will have all the products listed in the description box if you like my brows I have my brow routine also linked in the description area so let's get on with it so to prime my face I'm going to start off with the Carez quercetin and oak silicone free anti-aging primer to smooth out wrinkles and it smooths out any unevenness in your skin like any bumpiness also, don't forget the side of your nose and the side of your lips. Those areas tend to get a little bit dry. And um, hormonally, I am a little bit dry here around my nose and around my mouth area. And it gets a little red. Now I'm going to go ahead and start off with my foundation. This is my favorite foundation. I love it. And it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. And I'm in the shade Cashew 93 or 3W2. Just going to take a pump. And I'm going to apply this, um, start in the center of my face, and then just work my way out. If you are oily and you have a huge problem with your pores and just a greasy, oily T-zone, this stuff is your friend. I love this foundation. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my Dermablend Smooth Indulgence Foundation. This is about three shades darker than my skin tone. If you want to conceal something, you have to use something a little bit darker. If you want to add, you know, lightness or brightness to your face, of course you're going to use something a little bit lighter. My fingers are clean, my hands are clean, and I'm going to go ahead and just dot this right on these dark spots. Okay, now I'm going to take my LA Girl HD Pro Conceal, and this is in the shade Medium Beige. And I'm just going to apply this right underneath. You want to brighten up and conceal these stubborn dark circles. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation brush, my Angle Kabuki, and I'm going to blend my concealer. And there's really no um, method to it. I just kind of just blend the two together and it gets the job done. And it pretty much covered everything. I've been breaking out a lot. I think I haven't been getting enough sleep and having too much fun. In my previous foundation routine, I used this exact same product. It's the Body Shop Warm Glow Bronzer and it's a number zero two. And it's perfect for those of us who have dark these dark spots. They're very stubborn to cover, but this is just an added step. So what I like to do is just kind of tap in my brush into this powder and then apply it and I'm just tapping it. And as you can see already, these dark spots are gone. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with my infamous Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm actually going to go in with these two colors right here. The first one is called Shadow Play and this one is called Somber. So I'm going to mix the two together and I'm going to contour. So I'm just going to tap it in to these two colors like so and start on the sides of my cheek. And to figure that out is you can actually feel your cheekbone area right here. It's really hollow. And I like to use the side of my brush versus like this because I don't want such a harsh line. And as you can see, it's creating a shadow there. And then just go on the side of my face. And I'm stopping right here. I'm not going to go all the way around my face. So I went back in. And now I'm going to go just on my jawline. From the back of my ear down to my jawline. Who's calling me? Somebody always calls when I'm filming. What's up with that? Never blend down because then you're just going to have one big blob right here. You guys see the difference? When you get to this little fluffy area right here where I'm a little fluffy, I'm just going to take my brush and just kind of in circular motions kind of blend that out. 
conscious and shadow play. So these first two, I'm going to actually use that to just contour the sides of my nose. So um, just going into this little area right here where my, um, I guess where my brows begin, I'm just kind of just going in that little area and it looks really harsh, I know, I will blend it, but I'm also going to go on the tip of my nose and I'm going to go back in with just a little bit more. I feel like I have a pointy button nose. And then I like to take those same two colors and tap that off and kind of just go in and shade my crease with them, with those colors. And I like to use the tip of my brush for that. So I'm just going to go in and go in and it, this defines the crease as well. So. Okay, so now I don't know what happened. My, um, I don't know, my camera, I, I guess it stopped recording. But I took this shade right here. It's called Levitation. And I'm taking this. It's like a beigey, um, it's like an off-white beigey color. And what I did was I took my same little brush here and I just applied this underneath my brow bone area for a little bit of a highlight. And I'm also taking it just in the inner corner right here of my eye for a little subtle highlight that same color and just go down my nose and I'm also going to take a little bit right here on the these two colors which are uh, Lyric and Lucid and I'm going to mix those two colors together tap off the excess and now I'm going to highlight I'm just going to go right in the middle of my forehead like that just take a little bit down my nose down my chin. Now I'm going to apply my highlight right on the top of my cheekbone right here. And I'm not bringing it all the way in. I'm just stopping on the outside corner right here. And this is going to draw light to my face. And this is For my setting powder, I'm actually using my Sephora Micro Smooth uh, Baked Face Compact. Or, yeah, and this is in the shade medium number 30. So I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, elf blush brush and I'm going to just dip it in to that powder and now I'm just going to blend out my contour. Go on the sides of my nose right here. I'm just going to barely go over my highlight, not too much, but this is what I love to use to really set my foundation and to blend in that contour powder. Today I'm actually just going to use a bronzing powder also from Sephora. This is the um, matte bronzing powder in Bora Bora and I'm going to apply it right in between where my contour and my highlight is. So it's just right here and I'm not going to bring it in. So I really want to just keep it on the outer perimeter here and blend upward. So I was just going for a nice kind of glow, just a soft peachy kind of bronzy color on my cheeks. And I'm also going to put a little bit on the tip of my nose, just a tiny bit. So now I'm just going to take a fluffy powder brush, any type of fluffy brush will do. I'm just going to go ahead and just blend out any excess powder that I have on okay, my Okay, now I have to set all this work that I've done because I don't want it to go anywhere. I'm going to take my Ulta Makeup Setting Spray. Just mist this all over my face. And I'm just going to let that kind of sit into my skin. But for the most part, this is my base makeup. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is just my everyday foundation, contour, and highlight routine. The only thing I did was I switched out my Anastasia contour kit and used uh, my Kat Von D shade and light palette. Like this one is just perfect for really contouring and you know not to add so much color to my face, but to really kind of sculpt it. So this palette. Perfect. Um, also, if you have sunspots like I do, don't forget, um, head over to the body shop and pick up this bronzing powder. I love it. It's just so finely milled and it's so silky and smooth. It will give you a natural glow. I swear by this stuff. I used it in my first tutorial. If you haven't seen my first, um, my first 
foundation routine, I will also link that below for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on my social media stuff. It'll all be linked below. Again, thank you so much. Mwah.